Hello everybody, this is Pahamar playing Agrarian Skies with Direwolf20, and it is episode 17. How you doing, Direwolf? Nice. Direwolf. Good, man, good. Uh, I've just been kind of, you know, doing a little bit off camera, not a terribly large amount, but I think you've done a bunch of stuff. Yeah, because the liquid quests are pretty boring to do on camera, so, because yeah. it's a, just a lot of just set this up and wait, and then yeah. hand in, and hand in takes a long time. Yeah, it really does. Uh, I feel much more so than ho the hoarding ones, because the hoarding ones, it's just like, here's 10,000, here's 100,000. Right. So, so, over here is where I've kind of been doing a bunch of the liquid stuff, and we should probably yeah, look should probably... at the quests that are actually ready for hand in. Nice. So, if we look at... Oh, went too far. Go with the flow. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff ready for hand in. Look at that. Yeah, you I want to this... start at the top? We can go with the squeezing seeds one. Yeah, you want to hand it in, and then we'll talk about it, and then go through the other ones? Sure, I'll pick the right reward bag. I'll take the left. Now let's wait to open yeah, up all the bags, because we're going to have a bunch of them. I know, right? You're going to get a whole bunch of good stuff, and I'm going to get a whole bunch of bad stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we have the two MFR farms going right now, and one of them right, I set up them. just to do seeds, because we needed a bunch of seeds for that quest, as well as you needed a bunch of wheat for the toast quest. Yep. So kind of killed two burns with one stone, so we have a really big farm over here. Oh yeah, I guess I should actually show, because I don't think we showed this before. We now have two very large uh, MFR farms going on. Right. So this one's doing oak, because we need that, and this one's doing seeds still. And I got a sprinkler here just to kind of speed growth up a bit, so we're not tossing in a bunch of fertilizer. So these very farms the farm. uh, are all using just a single tesseract to pump into the AE system. And then there's three sludge boilers in the back that are pumping their stuff into the AE system, so we don't have that overstuffed uh, chest anymore. Right. So they uh, pump the stuff into the AE system, which comes along here to these eight squeezers I set up. And they have precision export buses, and I've taken the seeds out now because we don't need it anymore. Well, we will when we get to tree when we get to trees and bees. You're going to need seed oil. Yes, so we still have a bunch of seed oil, and we can still produce more here. But it just okay. came into this tank here that immediately fed into a quest delivery system. Nice. Yeah, it's very slow getting the liquid pumped into the QDM. Yeah, and it took, honestly, two days of just off-air time just to get this one done. It took a long time. Yeah. And let's see what else. Well, we have Great Balls of Fire. Cool. Which bag do you want to pick? Uh, which one was that? Great I'm Balls of take Fire. The right oh, one. Blazing Pyrothium? Right. Yeah, this is Blazing the Pyrothium. So this was 500 Pyrothium I had to uh, liquefy in a Magma Crucible. Cool. So that over here, I set up these three Magma Crucibles, and I just... Um, this Tesseract right here is only just for power. So I powered right. these three guys here, I just put in the Pyrothium, liquefied them, put them in the quest delivery system. Nice. Pretty nice separate. and easy. Yep. And that actually is the same thing for fluid energy, which was the redstone, which was uh, right. just 500 redstone. So we Do you can want have... redstone ore or a reward bag? I would rather have the redstone ore. Yeah? Yeah. These bags were not getting much like crazy awesome stuff anymore. Not like in the beginning. I want that the is bag. a lot of redstone. Okay, you can have the bag. I took the ore. I took the ore. I got an epic bag. Well, let me know what you got and see if I made the right decision. I'll let you know what I got after we open the bags. Oh. Yeah. So let's see. Um, uh, let's do smelly stuff. So smelly stuff okay, is a stuff. lot of sewage. Yeah. So I'll over pick the here. Left bag. Oh, you're going to hand it in right now? Yeah. yeah. I'll take the right bag. I'll take the right bag. I got another epic bag. I haven't even looked at mine yet. So, yeah. so right above here, I've disconnected it because it's just, it produces so much. Um, right. It is a sewer grate. And above us, uh, where's the quickest way to get up? Above us is another farm. Right. And it is just full of animals. I got gotcha. you. So, so you just place the sewage right down and just let it go. Yeah, just let it go and let it drain into the quest. Yeah, system. I don't so, blame you for doing a lot of this off camera because it would just be like really boring. To watch liquid yeah. drop. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It was exceptionally boring. So let's see. That was sewage, and then we have milk, and well, we have properly strong bones and fungus drippings. So that was using the lovely rancher you set up earlier. Yep. So for both so of those, 
come down here to the AE system here. Originally, you had just one cow in here, and you were milking it with um, with the rancher filling up buckets with uh, an autonomous activator and pumping it into the AE system. What I yeah, do is I just for cheese mostly. Yeah. So what I've done is I've actually hooked up this fluid import bus to the rancher, and the rancher actually works in a five by five, so I increased the space so we could have more animals. And it's actually right, getting one that's... bucket's worth of whatever the animal gives you every second. Nice. And it's just going straight into the AE system, and it's actually being stored in these uh, fluid drives, fluid storage drives. So anyway, nice. it uh, was milking these guys, so milked a lot of milk and filled up the tank and submitted the quest, and then I swapped it out with mushrooms and filled up the tank and drained it into the quest delivery system, and now we have two more to hand in. Okay, so we should do fungus drippings. I'm going to take the right. I took the left. I think I got epic bags for all of those, by the way. And strong bones, I'm going to take the left. Oh, we got red heart canisters, nice. Yeah. So yeah, that is... 60% of go with the flow done. Very nice. I have a few things to hand in for um, the, the for the hoarding quest. Um, I think we're done with trees. And we might even be done with raw ores. I have to look. Because we've been getting a lot of stuff from those lasers. Those lasers are doing a really nice job. If we those go over here lasers are crazy. They're really quite nice. Like, look at all this stuff that we're getting. Yeah, there's tons yeah. of it. Do you want to uh, take care of handing that one in? Uh, which one? The Nether Wars? Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go through because there are different numbers of each thing. Uh, Nether, Iron, I'll Just grab a stack each because it's a manual submit. Copper, gold. Like, it'll just take the crate. Uh, so you want Nether Iron, Nether Redstone, okay. Redstone. Nether Copper. One sec, copper. I have to find it all in here. Okay. Um, okay. It's about a stack it's each, a so. Stack. Copper, Redstone, Iron, Iron, Iron. Gold. Gold. Lapis. Probably going to be blue. Nether lead, tin, lapis. Okay. Ardite. Ardite. I think I got a bunch of that. Yeah, it only wants eight, so just grab a stack. And cobalt. And presumably cobalt. Is that it? That's it. Cool. Oh, wow. Oh, we get to pick it. So we can have an endothermic pump, which I don't think we're going to... We wouldn't get any use of that on this map, would we? Yeah. Uh, laser drill pre-chargers or reward bags? I'm going to go with the left reward bag. I'll take the right, because it's pretty easy this to craft the pre-chargers. Yeah. I think we just got another epic bag, basically. All right, so we got oak, and I think we also have pistons, but I'm interested in what this metallic collection is. Oh, we totally have this one. Do we? The one after the oh, ores yeah, is just a, a stack just a of... Stack. Oh, we need to make... Oh, no, we don't have it all. We need to make steel, and we also need to make alumite. And aluminum brass. Yeah, so yes. some that, of these are easier handle. to do. Steel, we haven't even... Like, maybe we should start on the steel quest. And you auto-crafted pistons for me? Yep, we have 1,000 pistons to hand in, too. We have 998 pistons. You used two pistons! You use two pistons. I don't even know how. I'm going to go get one of those QDMs that you had, and basically what I'm going to do is hook up an export bus and export pistons into it. And I'm going to do the same thing for all the other stuff that we have to do, so... So this guy is now pushing it. Direwolf 20... I have five epic bags. Do you? I have seven. <laughs> and I'm just going to say move stacks of items. So that should very quickly... Uh, yeah, we're at 710, 902. That was quick. I'll take the left bag. Okay. <laughs> I have eight epic bags now. I'm really interested to see what's in all these stinking bags. Uh, let's go ahead and select the task for the trees for the oak wood. We have glass too, don't we? We've been busy, man. Yeah, we did a lot. Where'd you go? You went quiet. Who, me? Yeah, you. 
I don't know. So yeah, we set up a lot of off-camera work. So like we basically the same process that we've been using for all the other stuff, which is basically you know redstone level emitter and applied you know stuff we did for glass, we did for the toast. Um, so we've got a lot of that kind of thing to hand in. Um, so we can kind of keep an eye on this. Let's see. So the wood's going to take a while. So while that's happening, you want to start opening up some bags? I think it's a great idea. So I got Invar Shears from one of my bags. And then I got Blood Runes. Ooh, it's a very nice reward, apparently. I'm guessing that's from Blood Magic. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it is. Okay. So apparently that's very nice. Ooh, I got a 64K fluid storage dealie. I'll stick nice. that in our fluid nice. storage. And I got Potion Flask. It's a nice reward. It's got eight swigs of flight. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah, I'm going to throw that in the AE system before you jump into the void with it. I I think you've had the best jump into the void yet. So far. So far. <laughs> it's not over yet. Oh, I got an efficiency rune. That's another blood magic deal. Um, I got a thomium scoop, which is apparently really nice to have. That's our second and one. And I got one. some diamond hammers with fortune three on them. Nice. Which is, nice. you know, not, not, not terribly exciting. And I got some, oh, I got some jaded... A jaded princess and a jaded drone. Ooh, that's very nice. Those produce uh, purple dye, I believe. Yes, which we need because there's a whole quest around purple things. Yep, and it's in your hoarding one. Yep. So once we get to bees and trees, we'll use those bees to oh, make you purple. Also need... purple. Is that 10 or... Yeah, 10,000 molten man uh, manalium. Yeah. That shouldn't be too bad because that's... What, like 10 buckets? I think so. If that's right, only 10 buckets, open my that's bags? Probably my bags. Yeah, go for it. While you're doing that, I'm going to get some more export buses going so we can start handing in more stuff. All right, I got a greater one, which gave me lettuce, corn, and blackberry seeds. Okay. I, whoa, wow. I got a nice reward out of an epic bag. 64 vials of Essentia. Uh, actually, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven stacks of uh, Essentia vials of different kinds. Cool. Uh, I got imp skin jerkin leather armor. Uh, 64K fluid storage drive. Division sigil. Cursed Earth, nice, and blackout curtains. That sigil's going to be awesome because we wanted to get some Cursed Earth and a mob spawner. Oh, you got a division sigil? I do. See, I told you you always get the good rewards. I have... This map compensates for Pahi Noob, you realize that, right? <laughs> I have an it's Infernal like Princess, an Infernal Pahinub. Drone, an Oblivion Drone, an Oblivion Princess, and three Oblivion Frames. Oh, I guess those, those are really good to have, too. I was about but to Oblivion say... Frames are, like, ridiculously good to have. All right, I got my last epic bag. What do you think? Good or bad? Good or bad. I don't know. Everything you need to finish the map. <laughs> I got a book with haste three. All right, but all the other awesome rewards you got more than make up for that stuff. All right, so I've got Handins going in multiple points here. Um, so we should be close to being able to hand in the punch tree, get blisters. We've got a lot of that stuff to do, but I think I'd like to start on, like I said, the magic stuff right now, if that's cool. Yeah. So. I guess something else we should probably talk about is between last episode and this one, we had some really terrible lag on this server. Yeah, we did. So, and it turns out that the cause of it was our cobble gen down here. Yeah. It probably had we a few had, million like, really backstuffed items. Yeah, the yeah. amount of backstuffed items in our item ducks was obscene, and so, it was causing some pretty bad lag. So what we've done so far is we swapped out all the item ducks that were filling these crucibles with uh, ME basic export buses. Right. And then Direwolf discovered that our giant lava tank here was causing a lot of frame rate lag, which is rendering. Just rendering. Yes. So for right now, he's torn that down. He's just got this puny little uh, thermal expansion tank in here acting as our yeah, buffer. As our... Yeah, it's not even really necessary at all. So what I'm thinking is, because we've got all these fluid drives, and these fluid drives store so much stuff. Right. I'm thinking we just put lava right into the AE system and just pipe it around like we normally do with the ME stuff because the AE system is ridiculously efficient. Well, yeah, especially for lag purposes. So yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm thinking. You can do that if you want. Yeah, I might work on that. 
because we already have all this ME stuff working to all our spell trees and stuff, so it'd be nothing to change. Do you that. have a place in particular where you'd like me to do my magic setup? Um, I'm thinking like over here. This is a pretty big open area. This yeah, might not be that's bad. Fine. That's fine. You know what? All right, cool. Like right under like right where under... this farm is right here, because this farm's gonna go away at some point. Yeah. Because I want the farms just to expand it that way. I'm thinking like right, right down in here, because I'm also gonna tear down all these tanks and all the systems over here, because they're not needed anymore. All right, leave those cables there because I want to have access to the AE system. So I'm actually going to put a, a an AE crafting. Okay. I'll uh, I'll take out these export buses though. Okay. What is going on? What's it put? Do we not have iron or glass or storage? We should. We do, it's just in block form. Oh, I thought you taught it how to do that. I did, but I was just doing a shift click. Let's see, I think all the glass is currently going towards uh, the glass building thing. Which I'm going to change the number up here from 10,000 to 1,000. Alright guys, how about I real quick get a table and a couple things set up. Sounds good. So I know um, to get started with this quest, we basically need to make a wand. And we'll need to get um, a sacrificial orb and a thaumonomicon. I'll get started on that real quick. Sounds good. There should be uh, a bunch of sugar oh, crane. Oh, did we get an iron-capped wooden wand? When did we get that? I think you got that from a rewards uh, um, bag. That's the word. I don't remember getting this from a rewards bag. Uh, must have been me then. Maybe. No. Uh, I kind of remember getting the Pex curse thing. Oh, yeah, right, by the way, when we were cool. troubleshooting, I guess I should also tell our viewers that uh, we also tore down our soul stand system because we were we really had no idea which item duck was backstuffed. So we went through all right. of them. Yeah, I know. Dark Wolf knows all. Yeah, it was really bad. It was like crazy how much we were trying to figure out where all this stuff was coming from. Uh, how much do you know about Thomcraft? I know a little bit, but I also know it's changed quite a bit. It changes all the time. I'm just going to throw out this uh, leather armor in this book. Cool. I had a random igneous extruder on me. I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, so here's how you get started with Thomcraft. You ready? Oh, I do know this. Ta da! Boom, boom. So that's uh, part one, and then I have to get a sacrificial orb. Oh, there's a lot more quests to this than sure. the last time I looked at it. Oh, awesome. Sacrificial orb requires a bunch of glass. <laughs> <laughs> that one thing that we don't have at the moment because we're currently handing it in like crazy you know what all right how about Gollum's this guys we'll be back in a few farm. minutes let me get a few pieces of infrastructure set up um and by then we should be done with the crystal clear quest which is using a bunch of glass we had ten thousand glass i don't know what happened to it um so yeah we'll we'll uh we'll Didn't be back you start setting up a bunch setting of up. uh export buses and stuff because that would eat up a lot, yeah, of glass. a lot of glass that doesn't use that much oh come on how many did you make like one I somehow doubt that. Yeah. Alright, back in a few, guys. Alright, Pahamar, I think I'm getting ready to set up my Thomcraft stuff, my tables and whatnot. You think or you know? I don't know much. Probably no more than me. Probably. So yeah, I'm just going to set up like a basic, I've got a research table here, and then um, I think i got to put this guy down and just wand him, and there we go, we've got the... I'll be right over there, I was just cleaning up our mushrooms, and I'm importing our mushroom soup back into the AE system. Right. Nice. Cool. Cool. So I've got some ink sacks here. Um, I might eventually set it up. So let's see. Am I am I good to hand in this, uh, this quest now? I think I am. 
In fact, let me... We've got a couple quest hands we can do as of the last few minutes. Uh, we can hand in toast if you want. Let's see. Which let's... is in Hell's Kitchen. Yep. I'll pick the left bag randomly. I got a grater and an epic bag. Hey, Morin Barshears. And I got all the backpacks from Forestry. Again? Yeah. All right, let's see. Then we also have for the hoarding, right? Uh, for the hoarding, we might have one. Yep, punch tree, yep. get blisters. Oh, cool. And we got another heart. We've got a flux-infused axe, which is nice. And I'll check my epic reward bag is... I got some redstone nether ore and some nether iridium ore. Well, that's interesting. In my greater bag, I got fireworks. I got an enchantment table and 16 magical wood out of my epic. Cool. And a book. With repair wood. Gotcha. Actually... Yeah, the glass is slowly but surely almost there. We had 10,000 glass and then we used a little bit for crafting, so slowness. We're just waiting for like the last couple hundred, I think, now. And I think that's everything that's going, right? At this moment, we're pretty much done with that stuff. So let me actually, you know what? Let me let me turn this guy back off for a minute. And then we can do that hand in. Shot in the dark, without looking. Yeah. How many okay. extra How lies have we not claimed? I don't know, like 50? 45. I was really close. Yeah, 45 and a half, I should say. Remember that chest back there in the first episode where we were like, if we die a lot, this is our emergency backup? Yeah. yeah. We did not yeah. need that. Not at all. So do we want a rune of sacrifice or an efficiency rune? How about... Oh, we're ready to hand in wizard school, by the way. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, I'll get, what? I'll get sacrifice, you get efficiency. How's that sound? Okay. Cool. Um, now, I know Thalmcraft like to back my hand, but blood magic, I do not know very well at all. Oh, I got five stacks of pyrothium dust. Neat. That's a Zomagad reward with a 0.1% chance. <laughs> nice. But we don't really need that. I'm just reading the quest details real quick. Make All right, so I got there. the Rune of Sacrifice, I got a greater reward bag, and that wound up giving me a book with Haze 3 on it. You know, we could probably disenchant this book in the auto disenchanter thing. That's probably what that's for. So yeah, that actually might be useful once we get some Thalmcraft stuff down. Oh, this iron-capped wooden wand. Where did I get this from? Oh, she probably gave it to me as a quest reward. Did you get an iron-capped wooden yep. wand with 25 yep. of... All right, can I have that? It's in the AE system. Cool. It's got 25 of each aspect on it already. That's awesome. Um, now, I'm actually kind of curious... Go perfectly with the eight ore nodes we have in the AE system as well. I know, but I'm actually kind of curious as to exactly how we're supposed to handle that. Like, assuming we didn't get those aura nodes and weren't lucky with our reward bag, there must be a, an intended way for us to be able to get aura nodes. I I'm guessing that they're Thalmcraft saplings. Uh, I believe uh, that's yeah. the way. Although I saw on the multiplayer map they actually spawn nodes at houses and at the server spawn, so I don't know if we have them around us. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm going to follow down through the uh, shards quest. So I need to get one of each shard. Um, you may have noticed a minor lack of infused stone on this map. Indeed. And I was wondering how you're supposed to get shards for crafting <laughs> Thalmcraft. Luckily enough, we at Evil Sky Overlords thought you might whine about that, and Zero kindly made it possible. Take a hammer from X Nile or Exequilo and hit blocks to produce shards at an admittedly rather small drop rate. The blocks to hit are obsidian, TNT, oh wow, that's terrible. Maybe we, I do not like... <laughs> Maybe we want that obsidian set up again. Although we do have all those autonomous activators. We do. What I'm thinking is, what's lucky is we got those Fortune 3 hammers. Yep. So that should help. So what if we were to set up a block, what is it, a block placer from MFR? Yeah. With an autonomous activator with one of those hammers in it and an ender, uh, sorry, a vacuum popper to suck up the products. 
you got it. Although TNT you is also pretty cheap. You can actually use an activator for both. Oh, okay. Uh, TNT is actually pretty cheap, too. We have a lot of gunpowder from the mob spawner. That would probably right, take less probably time. Good. Oh, something derp on the server? Hope not. This block wasn't breaking. Okay. So, like, maybe if I tested this little setup over here, I'm going to put oh. an autonomous oh. activator, an autonomous activator. This guy I'm going to put in left-click mode with the diamond hammer, and we're going to set this guy to use the first slot only. And this guy we're going to put TNT in. And let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm getting some chaos shards. That's cool. Now, I got wondering, could we use AE to... Where are you? It's... You're close. Oh, you're below. Below. Yeah, I'm over here. I was going to say, can we have AE know to keep a constant supply in here? Like, always have at least 32 in here? You can't specify exactly how much to keep in, but you can keep it full. Okay. Um, Just using an export bus, basically. Will it know to craft more if it needs to? You Here, come here, look at this real quick. See if you open up the interface on the export bus on the bottom right. If you mm -hmm. mouse over, it says stack mode. Uh, just left click that. Oh, move single items and craft. Okay. So it, it has to be a upgraded export bus. It won't work with the basic export. And you have to set it to that mode, and that'll tell it if you need this item, you're allowed to craft it. Cool. So that's that. Um, I mean, you don't need a terribly large number of shards, luckily, typically. So let's see. Uh, so that's TNT. Uh, we're going to want some obsidian. Yeah, we don't need a ton of blocks. Obsidian will probably be the long and painful one, so I'll just get that out of the way. You know what I should do is probably just make a vacuum hopper real quick and hook it up to a chest. Just grab one of the ones you have upstairs. You only need one for the sectors you got there. Shush. I'm just telling you, man. Mr. Frugal Direwolf in the first couple episodes. No, we don't have the resources for that. Getting exactly. willy-nilly now. Willy-nilly indeed. You know, it's too bad there's not a overall percentage complete in the quest book to say, like, you are now 40% done all quests. It only tells you per uh, right. chapter. Hooray, that worked. All right, so obsidian, you go in there. That's probably going to take a little while to break with the hammer, I would assume. So that's why I put half a stack in there. I figured let that thing run for a while. Do so we I need guess to have that's obsidian? obsidian? Or does it give uh, it different shards obsidian. based off of the uh, block you're breaking? Uh, I assume it's different because she listed six types of blocks. And the annoying the part two, is one of them is sandstone slabs. Oh, sandstone slabs. Okay, that's actually pretty easy to craft. Well, yeah, but like, it has to be stacked on top of each other. Oh. So that'll be annoying for the autonomous activator. Well, I guess she can't make it too easy for us, right? I guess not. She did give us three diamond hammers, so that's cool. Plus, we have the ones we had from before. Yeah. Don't you remember getting remember hammers getting... before? We did at some point, but I don't see them in the A system, so I assumed you lost them. They're in the tools bag up top. Don't just assume don't because just... I died over the void. That you lost everything we ever had? Oh, yeah, that's what are, I assume. You are... You're not a nice person today. What? I'm a nice person every day, Bahamar. I... I'm calling that into question. I'm interested to see what the YouTube comments have to say about that. It's gonna be Pahi Noob and Dire Meanie. Dire is not a meanie. Dire is a meanie. Not true. So yeah, I've got like three air shards now. That should be at least enough to get started. Um, let's see, what else do I need for this craziness? Uh, ice. And grass? How's your grass farm going on up there? Uh, we don't have grass farm. No? Nope. Interesting.
just gonna assume that the ice will give me the blue shards. Yeah, I'm correct. Obsidian, I'm guessing fire shards maybe? And grass would probably be earth shards. Oh no, obsidian's order. Okay, cool. All right, guys, we'll be back in a moment here. So, Direwolf. So, Pahamar. My dog just fell off the bench. Why? What happened? <laughs> he was asleep and he rolled over and completely fell off. I was going to tell you that the episode <laughs> is probably running a little long, but all of a sudden the dog just completely forgot gravity. Gravity. It's not really a thing. And anyways, yeah. Oh, Netherrack's the other one that we need. Oh, we should have tons of that too. We should. Yeah, now we have another coal, another redstone. Sorry, we were just pahi dog bombed. We were. Now we've got 45 netherrack. I actually want to test real quick and see if the sandstone will work in here. Because what I'm going to do is, because this is going to take a while, I'm just curious if this works. If it does, cool. I'm just going to like put a bunch of stuff into this autonomous activator and let her go. And then you know we'll see how it works. Come on, Obsidian, finish breaking. I could even put a chest full of them if oh, I really wanted to. There we go, nice. It does do the uh, slabs well. Cool. Look at all those nice shards. shards. Oh, nice, that gets oh, us some nice. shards. Yeah. So that's good. I've got the Obsidian ready to go. I've got glass. I've got netherrack. The only thing is we need grass, which I don't think we have a handy amount of. The heart, uh, do we need grass? Let's see. Is it grass or grass blocks? Hmm. The hard thing is, too, is we don't have an easy way of moving it. Because if we just... Because right. we, just... we don't have any silk touch. I mean, you could always come over here to where the um, rancher's set up, because there's cobble blocks underneath it, so you could always just break one of them with a hammer. Okay, cool. Uh, sounds good. So yeah, let's let's do that. What I'll do is I'll break the grass with a hammer over here and then plant more so that it grows. We'll probably want a larger grass field anyway at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we'll have to work on that. Maybe we'll just get a larger grass field off camera between this episode and next, and I'll I'll hit this thing with the hammer occasionally and and throw more dirt down. Does that sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Oh, be careful. One the of the blocks under there is probably in the void. Oh, dude. I'm kidding. Maybe. Pahamar is trying to kill me. I'm telling you guys, you have no idea. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening right now. Hey, you know what? All I right. promised at some point that I was going to troll you. I haven't trolled you yet. And you don't have yeah. witchery here to protect you. Uh, one of them's over the void? Dude. More than one. I oh, think wow. I actually, <laughs> actually thought they were all safe. Yeah, no, they're not. <laughs> they're not even a little bit safe. Well, did you get what you need? Good thing I don't trust you at all. Things you right, don't expect to, to hear from your friends. Yeah, I know. No, it's a good thing I don't trust you at all. All right, are we ready to wrap up? I think we're ready to wrap up. Yeah, like, it's it's not even close to half. Like, it's it's a ridiculously small amount that are not open to the void. Hey, there's a green shard. Nice. I'm just nice. going to leave. See? Yeah, don't stand on these grass blocks unless you want to take a fall. We could probably hand this we in. We could probably hand this in. What's that? Your shards quest. Don't break all of them. Don't break all leave one. Them. I know not to break all of them. Um, let's do it next episode. We'll give uh, the YouTube audience something to look forward to. All right, guys. Hi, guys. Daryl20, Pymar, signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy. See you later, guys.